Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, dealing with my hair and all of the transitions. Listen, when you finally get your hair healthy and you can cut out all the damage like I did here, all that was damaged hair, and then I get to this and I've grown it out and I'm letting the gray grow out because I can't color it anymore, but I had to cut off all the damaged hair. Now, this is what you can do when your hair is in an awkward length and you're not sure what to do with it. You know, you can get four, five, six, seven, eight looks out of it if you just use your imagination. Who knows what kind of styles you can come up with. I want to share something with you. As you can see, I cut my hair. Now what I want to show you is the benefit of cutting an even bang and the benefit of working with flat irons. This is an old flat iron, ion titanium platinum that I bought from Sally's Beauty Supply about seven or eight years ago. Now I'm just gonna comb my hair straight back for right now. I want you to see right in here from the medication, my hair got pretty choppy. So in order to remedy that, knowing that I couldn't get much of a hairdo out of this, I decided to comb my hair forward and I took the scissors, I lined it up and cut it forward at an angle. And I did the same on this side. I cut it at an angle so that my bang would have a nice clean line no matter which way I combed it. Comb it this way, comb it that way, I have a nice clean line. Now I've already gone over this a few times and gray hair starts to turn yellow when too much heat is put on it too many times. So we're going to leave this alone for right now. I want to show you this. Right in the back here, just real quick, I want to show you how, just in a section, how to flat iron hair. Now, uh, my hair's already been flat ironed, but I'm just giving it for demonstration purposes. But anyway, you tap the roots once. You go back over the roots, and then you take the flat iron as you use a little tension, and you bend it and just keep pulling it. See the kind of curl you can get? Now, you may not want that much curl. Comb it while it's warm and you'll have more shape than curl. If you want the curl, let all of it cool off for a good 10 minutes before you comb through your hair. The curls will be a lot more lasting. Now, I'm gonna show you on the side here. As you can see, I cut the side short. Show you the reason for that. Sometimes I like two different looks. I'm a variety person. I can't wear my hair the same way all the time. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I do like variety. And I'm gonna show you how you go through the hair. Tap it once, tap it again, turn it and pull. Tap it again, turn it and pull. And go slow toward the ends. And see what happens is you've got a nice, smooth, shiny look. And this is what I want you to see. This is a look. It's not the best look for me. I know that. But it is a look when you just kind of want that chic, kind of bobbed look. I'm seeing a strand out of place here. Let me snatch that baby real quick. I'm a hairdresser. I see him. So anyway, <clears throat> I did it on this side. I did the same on this. I'm going to go over this just really quickly because I don't want to overcook my hair. I've already been through it a few times. We already tapped the base once. We have to do it again. We're just going through it just to give it that extra sheen. That's all we're trying to do. It's already straightened out. Okay, now, and you've seen my natural texture. So you know my hair is not straight. Now you can just slide up under that flat iron and go over it one more time with a little bend. And you see the body it has. 
Now, what I want to show you before I go any further is I want to show you the look I wanted to get. Okay, so I already did the back, so I'm not going to do that again. But what I do want to show you is this. This is a look you can have. Let's say you want to flip it over to the side. Show you the different looks. When you cut your bang even in front, it's layered when you comb it back. When it layers as you comb it back, you can do more things with it as far as a different effect. Because I didn't put much curl in my hair, it's not going to show much. But at least you can see the different looks I can get from it if I want to. Just simple, casual, go on to the store, go and take care of the bank business, and you're done. You're decent. It's not hard to do anything with it. You don't have time. You got to hurry up. You've already got dressed, and the time's getting away from you, and you're saying, oh, no, I'm going to be late. You just finger comb it. You run it back. You run it back opposite. You run it straight back. You part it in the middle, whatever. You can finger comb it. And then if you want to bang, you can just toss it forward and let it be tousled and go. Head out the door. You're done. Now, let me show you another hairdo. This is a cute one when you want to wear a hat or not. Either way, you're free. Now, because I'm all wrinkly in here, this brings attention to that. So I wouldn't wear my bangs straight across unless I was 20 years younger. <clears throat> Love the look, but the look is not loving me right now. So let's break that up a little bit, right? All right, now we're gonna pull this back. We've got this sectioned out, that's the bang. All right, let's take this back with a brush so it lays down. I wanna show you this. All righty, you see what I'm doing real quick. I'm gonna turn this flat iron off. I don't need it on right now. All right, that's what I want to know what I want to show you. See how I'm pulling it back? Watch this. Now, these are two looks you can get. Let's say you're going out, you're going to have dinner, but you don't feel like fussing with your hair. It's too cold outside and you don't want your hair totally uncovered. But you might want to take your hat off in the restaurant. You're not sure. So this is what you do. You pull this back. See, this is a different length. You pull this back. You pull it into a rubber band. These are just little quick hairdos you can do when you're in a hurry. You pull it back in a rubber band. Not a rubber band, a scrunchie. This is a no-no using rubber bands. It really tears your hair up. This is just for demonstration purposes. So, okay, you can see I've cut my hair. And it needs another trim, but I'm not going to deal with that now. Okay, now you notice I'm just dusting over with the brush to make my hair lay down. That's that chic, that chic look. All right, now let me get my hat. I want you to see how this looks. Lean the hat back off your head. And doesn't it look like you've got a bob, a short bob? That's a creative way to get a new look. You don't have a short bob, but it looks like you do. And you can take the little ponytail that's not doing anything for your look, tuck it up, and voila, you're looking together. Now, it gives you a whole different look, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, it gives you a whole different look. Now, some people, they look good. I have a friend. I used to do her bang like this. I would bring her bang down, make it nice and even and bring it to a point in the front. Just a slight point, not an obvious one. That looked good on her. Doesn't look good on me because it just emphasizes all this. Still getting over the cold and this aging process is not very friendly. Yeah, so anyway, that's a look. Now, some people like their hair swept to the side, their bangs broken up some. You just use your fingers. Use your imagination. Hello. Simple to the point. Now, here's another one. Check this out. Real quick. Real quick. I don't want this video to be long. 
I'm getting ready to sit up here and watch some movies. All right. Now, we pull the hair forward, right? It's all been cut. For that, like anything that's too long, you just drag it out of the picture because that doesn't belong there. Now, you brush all this back off your face. You take this, you section it off, right? And you brush everything else back off your face. I want to show you this. This is a funny one. You can have three looks with this. This is what I want to show you. This is another quickie. Summertime, you're hot, you don't feel like having your hair down around your neck. Your hair's too awkward of a length to really make it, the ponytail's too short to look cute, right? So you want the little pixie look. So what do you do? You take this, you either hairspray it and pull it up and go, or I'm going to show you a few choices. You take the comb and you just part it, just pull it across like so. Just pull it across. Now, normally I'll take my time and part it. I'm doing it for the sake of time. And I just want you to see what you can do if I were to pull it back out of the rubber band and pull it in. Imagine that bobby pin's not there. And the hair would be up on top. Air would be getting in here. And then this wouldn't heat you up too much. Now, here's another look real quick. All right. This one is fun to me. Ah, I'm trying so hard to hurry up, you guys. Hang with me. Pull all the hair forward. Pull all the hair forward like a short do. Just that part, not the sides. Just the top. All right. Pull all the hair forward. And look at all the different looks you can get. A little touch of spray, a little mist of hairspray, and that hair can hold like that all afternoon. Gets hot, take your hair, pin it up, brush it all the way up. Brush it all up. Put some combs or pins in it. Now this is a semi-updo. You got to go somewhere. You don't have time to redo your hair. Evening affair, you want it up in the back. Get some combs in place of these bobby pins, of course. And then you just kind of push the hair in place, and you've got yourself a nice updo. Hello. I don't know what it looks like in the back, because this is what you call a real quickie. A little hairspray, a few combs, real fancy combs, right in here, and you've got yourself an updo. You don't have to have a lot of hair to have different hairstyles you just have to have some imagination and be daring with it now you know hurry you don't have time to do all that whip it to the side give it a little hump go on out the door you're ready to roll all right let's go to work now if all my hair in here was as thick as it is on this side, this would be a real nice hairdo when I got done. But even so, look what I can do with it. I can brush it back, take a comb to get a pattern in it. I would use a wider tooth comb for the pattern, like with my fingers. You see how the pattern sets in? Push it forward, go under the hair, whip it down. You've got a semi-bang, right? Now, this is if my hair was healthier. It's still twiggy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a bunch of twigs. But anyway, you got your hair. It's done. Head on. Go what you got, you know, do what you got to do.